I have been in theater arts for about five years. I've been, <laughs> yes, I've been in theater for about five years, and two major things I've learned is that everything is a process, as one, um, and to just always envelop yourself in your work and always trust yourself and try your best and it will always lead you to greater things. I could say a while now, but yeah, it's real focus about four years. Two major things that I learned. Hmm. Art, you need to put whole thoughts in art. You need to really, if you're doing something in art or art-wise, you need to really think of everything. Everything must have a meaning or you must know the meaning at least so you could portray that to the audience as well as dedication, you must be dedicated to your work. I would always say it started from when I was younger, but actively learning it was when I started in school. I have to allow, allow myself to be more open to everything that I can do and not just box myself into one particular type of art. Like, I prefer to be expressive and I'm learning to be more expressive and open to different types and finding myself in that way. And another thing I learned, which was what somebody told me, was that the worker already knows where it wants to be. You just have to kind of let it happen. So I, I kind of take that with me as I go. I'm in my second year. So, um, so far it's kind of just been like exposing my mind to new ideas in design or like what design could be and kind of relating that to the stuff that I do and how I could improve my own art with the knowledge that I learned from design. One major thing that I've learned is like how to market the things that I make or just to know how to use different colors or different ways of posting something online, for example, to make it look more appealing to people. Another thing that I've learned is that design isn't limited to anything much really. It could be anything. It could be from clothes or it could be just like coming up with concepts. So it's opened my mind to that. I would say I've been an artist technically all my life, practicing seriously since 2015. And I can give at least one thing that I've learned in this process. <laughs> um, it's just to let go. Trust the materials. Yeah. Well, I started writing from a young age. I can't remember how old. But um, I definitely got more serious about the career, the thought of the career, when I was about 18. So that would have been about seven years ago. Um, and uh, two things that I've learned. Um, I've definitely learned Time management is important because I was always really bad with time. But when you're dealing with a film crew and actors, it's, you need to have be on your P's and Q's about time. Um, I've also learned that everyone is different and has a different talent and a different aspect. And that in terms of direction, you can't necessarily try to control people, but you need to allow them to just channel their own creative forces in ways that are familiar to them. Well, I've been in music all my life, first of all, because I've played the piano ever since I was small. And podcasting, we started it January 1st, 2020, called The Culture Tribe. Probably heard of it. You really need to love it to do it. That, that's one thing I learned, and have a team of people around you that will support you. I've been a musical artist for about, let's say, six years. And I've learned that there's a lot of power within what I do. Like, I could... Through my work, I could send messages to people and people could resonate with it and stuff like that.